Yeah, that, that dose right over here. If I can reach it. Until next week. Maybe. And I'm too busy to argue about it. What do you want? Huh? I don't know. The telephone is meant to work for us. Good telephone manners aren't difficult, they're easy and natural. Let's run through a few fundamentals. First off, when you're making a call, be sure you have the right number. Now, if you're not sure, look it up in your directory. Now, when you're going to dial a number, wait for the dial tone. You're all familiar with it. It's the hum you hear in the receiver, like this. This tone is the same as the operator saying, number please. It tells you the equipment is ready to handle your call. So wait for the dial tone. It's another time saver. When it's necessary to signal the operator, do it this way. A definite rhythm. If you pump up and down impatiently like this, about the only thing you're likely to get is high blood pressure. Pad and pencil go with the telephone just as cheese goes with apple pie. If you have these handy, you won't have to hunt all over the place for something to write on when you're in the middle of a call. And by the way, it's a good habit to take notes on telephone conversations because they'll serve as reminders for you. Now we're ready for an incoming call. Answer your telephone promptly. can easily get the idea that we're not interested in his call. Answer by identifying yourself. Don't just say, hello. It's old-fashioned and wastes time. Now, you all know what I mean. Hello? Oh, hello? Who's calling? Well, what number is this? Well, what number are you calling? Well, I'm calling your number. Oh, is that you, Myrtle? Yes, who's that, Hortense? Yes, this is Hortense. Oh, hello. Hello. Now, the right way to answer your telephone is... Credit department, Mr. Stevens. Mr. Andrews office, Miss Carter speaking. Be obliging and polite. Then, when you're sure he's finished, bring the conversation to a definite, courteous close, like this. Yes, that's fine. Thanks for calling, Mr. Frisbee. Goodbye. A pleasant thank you, goodbye, is much better than hanging up, maybe while the other party is still talking or listening. It's just being considerate. Oh, yes, and when you hang up, put the telephone securely on its base, making sure it rests squarely on the cradle. See that there are no books or other objects in the way. It may sound queer, me telling you how to talk over the telephone, but it's surprising how many of us make careless mistakes. Here's what I mean. Speak clearly in a conversational tone like this, directly into the mouthpiece. Some garbled their conversation so much that even I couldn't understand them, let alone the customer at the other end of the line. Go ahead with it. Now, if we don't have these two things by this afternoon, now, if your voice personality is dull and lifeless, like this, hello, in his imagination, you'll probably look like this. Or that you work for a business that's something close to this. One of the best ways to make a good impression on a caller is to speak with a smile in your voice. 
An interested voice, combined with proper telephone usage, is like offering a warm handshake over the phone. And with it, you'll appear like this to your callers. Our business, more like this. Just by a sparkle in your voice. Something like this. Accounting department, Mr. Stevens. <laughs> <laughs>